Hey guys, so if you haven't guessed already, I have survived another week of this crazy uh, disaster month and I have literally survived solar flares, snowstorms, even a major flood. I just found out that another catastrophic event is about to occur and it is going to be supposedly this extinction level event. There is a comet headed this way and it's really creeping me out. And for week four of my disaster slash end of the world movie marathon, it is for deep impact. After the discovery of a comet headed to Earth, humanity has a few choices to make. Either live or die trying to destroy this thing before it wipes everything out. But is this movie worth checking out in the end? As far as the story goes, this movie was released in 1997 and I have seen it so many times that I always have to prepare myself for what I know is coming and that is a comet. This movie gets compared a lot to Armageddon which was released a year later in 1998 and it is another space related disaster movie. I don't exactly want to pick favorites here but I kind of prefer Armageddon better. The way that the plot in this movie is presented is the same human centric tale of heroism minus music by Aerosmith. When a boy and his teacher discover a comet during a class assignment outdoors as they're looking up at the stars. It sets into motion this string of events before one reporter uncovers the secretive extinction level event being covered up by the government. I mean, how crazy is that? Of course, something like that would be covered up so as not to raise panic and freak everybody out, but this it would actually be a terrifying situation, especially because there's so many people on Earth and so many people could end up being affected by this. While we may know how this movie will end, the pacing itself is decent from director Mimi Leader, who keeps you on the edge of your seat and everything seemed to get more intense throughout the over two hour runtime. So it just seems like boom, boom, boom. Something is always like, you know, coming on screen. You're always seeing something happen uh, in the midst of all these people sort of dealing with life before their lives could potentially run out. As far as the casting goes, you have a pretty decent amount of well-known actors in this movie. Tia Leone plays an overeager reporter who gets to tell the world the story of a lifetime when astronauts pilot, pilot this spacecraft towards that is going towards this comet and she kind of also has family issues among other things. While I wasn't too impressed with her character, I definitely sort of felt bad for her at least uh, majority of the time. Morgan Freeman, of course, is perfect at playing the President of the United States. I mean, who wouldn't love a guy like that taking charge of this country that's, you know, dealing with all of this? Just hearing from him in general is also pretty cool. And of course, I had to probably see this movie most of the time because of Elijah Wood. I feel like this is one of his first major roles. But before Lord of the Rings came out and he just looks so young in this but he's the one that discovered the comet in the first place and also how to snag up a girlfriend too. Robert Duvall is also wonderful to see here as the main space pilot who uh, is in charge of his team and so you have just a great supporting cast in this movie. The things that I liked about this movie was that you get to see a lot of different perspectives because there's so many different characters and so all groups of people who were involved during this uh, comet fiasco. And it makes having this emotional way to catch the movie all the more significant because everybody is dealing with their own thing but they're all trying to come together as one to figure out how to stop this from you know, becoming worse. 
I also did enjoy this movie because the music really does sell it for me in certain scenes and I definitely shed a few tears watching this movie because I often think about what life on earth would be like if a comet did come our way. And it is intense and it has those action-packed moments that uh, I feel like to this day it still terrifies me to watch this movie. But unfortunately the things that I didn't really like about this movie is that it is not a perfect movie in any way uh, in regards to certain acting bits like I previously mentioned before and some of the visual effects I feel don't completely hold up today and I feel like I have seen far more improved visuals in other movies recently. At times was a bit boring to watch uh, but it could also be because I've seen this movie a million times so I'm like I know what's going to happen. So I don't feel like it exactly has the same rewatch value like it did in the beginning. So overall I would say that movie while it's not perfect, I still feel like it is a decent outing as far as uh, these types of movies go, and I still think it is worth a watch. So I would still recommend seeing this movie, whether or not you guys have seen this or you probably prefer to watch Armageddon over this instead. Uh, you know, pick your poison here. So I would give this two and a half hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Deep Impact and come back for week five of my disaster slash end of the world movie marathon. I really hope I make it to the end of this month. I really don't know what to expect so wish me luck. And as always you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, come back every week for a Chill Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter and I'll see you guys later.